Hey Kid Step friends, welcome back to our series called Renew. Week one, we looked at Psalm chapter one and two together, and we talked about the importance of meditating on God's word. And meditating on God's word just means reading God's word, soaking it in, learning it, spending time with God, because the more that we are in his word and reading the stories we find there, the more that we get to learn about who God is. Then in week two, which was just last week, we looked at Psalm 23. We were reminded that so many of the Psalms David wrote, and it was kind of like his prayer journal. He wrote to God when he was happy and when he was sad and when he was afraid and when he was excited. And David wrote Psalm 23 to remind us that God is our good shepherd. No matter where we go, he's always with us, always leading us and guiding us. This week, we are in Psalm chapter 56 together. Hopefully you've already read that. And if you haven't, that's okay. When this video is over, go ahead and read Psalm 56 with your family. But in Psalm 56, we see that David is reminding us that even when he's afraid, he can put his trust in God. And it reminded me of a Bible story where the disciples were really afraid and they had a choice. They could either put their faith in God or they could stay afraid. So let's read that together. If you have a Bible, you can go ahead and open it up to the book of Mark. We're going to be reading Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41. So let's read that together. That day when evening came, he, meaning Jesus, said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Whoa, can you imagine if you're the disciples? They were terrified, they were so scared. It wasn't like a panic attack. It wasn't, you know, a fear of a tiny spider. It wasn't being afraid about a test at school. No, they were so afraid because they had water coming in their boat and they were afraid that the winds and the waves were so big that they might die because the storm was so big. And what was Jesus doing? He was sleeping. And so the disciples woke him up and were like, um, we're, we're panicking here. We're very afraid. And they went to Jesus because they knew that they could trust Jesus, right? And with one single word, the storm was gone. The wind was quiet. The waves got calm. The disciples had been so afraid and they forgot that Jesus was with them the whole time right? But sometimes you and I, the storm feels really big. The waves feel really big. The wind feels really big, right? And we get so afraid. And sometimes we forget that God is always with us. He's always with us. He's in the boat with us, right? And all we have to do is go to him and tell him that we are afraid and we can trust him that he's going to be right there with us, helping us through our fear. And I think that's what David was reminding us in Psalm 56. He was saying, you know, sometimes I feel very afraid. And he's saying, but even when I'm afraid, I can put my trust in you. I can trust you that you're with me, that you're always with me. And I don't have any reason to be afraid when I remember that you are with me, no matter how big the waves get. And so friends, I want to encourage all of us this week um, with many of us getting ready to start school, we might feel like that is really scary because there's a lot of unknowns and maybe it looks very different than what you thought school would look like. But we can trust that even at school, even no matter what we do, 
that God is always with us and we can trust him even when we're afraid. So before you go, I would love for you to watch this video from our friends at Saddleback Kids, just as a way to watch this story that we just read come to life. And hopefully it's a reminder for you that no matter what, Jesus is always with you in the boat. We can put our trust in him when we are afraid. If there's anything that feels too big or too scary, we can trust that Jesus has it handled. So friends, enjoy this video and I will see you next Sunday. Bye! Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him.